learning about civics at Cedar Ridge Elementary. Hello again, everybody. My name is Dale Caffey with more of the great things happening at the Waco Independent School District. I am on the campus of Cedar Ridge Elementary with fourth grade teacher Nancy Merck and the mayor of the city of Waco, Malcolm Duncan Jr. Uh, mayor, what brings you out to Cedar Ridge today? Well, Ms. Merck's class invited me to come talk to them about government. They have recently had an election. They elected a mayor and I, they wanted to find out what the mayor of Waco does and how that job uh, compared to the mayor of Merckville. <laughs> Talk a little bit about your conversation that you had with the children. They had some great questions. They had some really good questions. They wanted to know about animal welfare. They wanted to know about the issues that we face. They wanted to know what their city government was going to do for them. They wanted free ice cream and they wanted to know if we had a fleet of race cars. <laughs> a lot of interesting questions. Uh, but you told them that actually you don't visit a lot of schools. This is, some, this is something special to them and you. Right. And this is my first visit this year. It seems like I've only been able to do one a year, but I will go to any school that invites me as long as it fits my schedule. I'm happy to visit with students and teachers. Very good. I know you're a busy man, need to get out of here, but what better way to spend a Thursday morning than at Cedar Ridge in front of some great fourth graders? That's right. I love it. Anytime. <laughs> Very good. Mayor, have a great day. We're going to show some video of you interacting with the kids in just a moment, but first of all, we're going to talk to the teacher. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Merck. Okay. Very good. Thank Mayor you. has to uh, go, and he has a busy, busy schedule today, but Ms. Merck, it was great to have the mayor here it today. Was, it was wonderful. It was such a great experience for the children. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Very good. Talk a little bit about the studies and how this ties in with what your classroom has been studying. Well, my classroom has been studying the city government and the elected officials and that process. And I have a student teacher. We have a wonderful partnership with Tarleton. And I have a wonderful student teacher right now who has designed and created this, this course of study for the children. They uh, thought of issues. They, students volunteered to be candidates for mayor and they wrote their speeches and put up posters and we had an election and then it was so much fun to conclude this study with a visit from the mayor of Waco so they could see what that was like. Well I was very impressed with some of the questions. How about you? I mean the, the, the children were professional, relaxed, uh, polite, and asking some really good questions. They are, they are a treat to have in my class. I have enjoyed being their teacher very very much. They're very bright students and they prepared a lot and Mrs. Amity did that for them, my student teacher. She had them think of their questions yesterday and and she did a lot of background information with them and it, it's just been a lot of fun. Very I good. Remember this forever. <laughs> they will remember it indeed. Thank you so much Ms. Merck for what you're doing for the fourth graders here at Cedar Thank Ridge you. and Thank without further ado let's look at Ma Malcolm Duncan Jr. the mayor of Waco conversing with children in Mrs. Merck's fourth grade class. You have a city council member that represents this district and to vote for that council member you have to live in this neighborhood. To be the mayor you have to live anywhere within the city limits of Waco and you have to live there for a certain number of months before you can be elected. Every year we adopt a budget that takes care of policemen and firemen and streets and running the City Hall and all the other parts of government and it's a hundred million dollars every year and then we have another budget that will put water in your tap take the sewer out and pick up your trash and that's another hundred million so all of the city government is two hundred million over two hundred million dollars a year and the council has to we have a committee that works on that in fact I was in one of those meetings three hours yesterday where we've started working on next year's budget and it's it's not easy I think it was three years ago we started operating the animal shelter we were taking in 10,000 animals a year that people didn't want 10,000 that we can't do that so now we have the law that you have to microchip them and you have to get them fixed so they can't have babies anymore and we're down below 6,000 which is still a lot of animals, but it's a whole lot better. And we're able to find people to adopt all those animals now. When we had 10,000 animals, we couldn't get them all adopted. But at 6,000, we've got a lot of nice people that adopt animals. We are very interested in your future. And so we spend a lot of time talking with the school board and with the city council 
and with all of our partners in Baylor and McLennan Community College and TSTC about how we can all work together to help their students graduate with a degree because that is how we can make a better quality of life for everybody in Waco. One of the biggest issues for the city and the school district is for you to complete your education. And your parents are interested in that, your teachers are interested in that, and I'm interested in it. And if you have a problem doing that, you let me know.